Hello viewers, welcome to my channel Connect Civilians. So in this lecture we will see how to design a uniform eccentric rectangular footing by using the Excel sheet. Okay. So here by Excel moment is occurring. So in MX and in Y direction, both in both the direction moment is occurring. So due to that is eccentricity will produce. Okay. So we have already done the manual calculation for the biaxial uh, eccentric footing if you haven't seen this video i will provide the link in the end of this video you can go and check also and by using this excel sheet you can also design so these are the data that you have to fill by yourself the data that was shown in the green box you have to fill it okay so where did you get this result so if you are designing your building by using software stat or retab or whichever structural software you are using so from there you can get the load so this p load will be dead plus live load okay this is service load is equal to dead plus live load so here you have to fill that data so my uh, total service load is 550 kilometer okay and our SBC of soil will be 250 and our column size is 430 by 230 okay unit weight of soil is 16 depth of the footing we are taking as 1.5 meter and grade of footing that grade of concrete of foot for footing will be 25 that is m25 and grade of steel we are taking as 500 that is fe 500 okay so here we are considering the self weight of the footing is equal to 12 percent okay <coughs> why we have not chosen 10 percent i will show you if you will do okay okay so you can also edit the self weight of the footing if you want to take the self weight of the footing as 10 percent here if you do the self weight out of the footing will as 10 percent what will happen i will show you in the last of this excel sheet so this final bit of the footing here will come as 62.5 which is less than so it will told you to increase the self weight of the footing that's why we have taken the self weight of the footing as 12 percent okay so you can do and check according to your design <coughs> and the grade of the concrete for column is 20 newton per mm square okay the data will be given here after that you have to also provide the moment so if you have a ultimate moment so you have to fill in this and after or if you have a simple service moment then you have to fill in this okay So here you have to fill the moment maximum moment and minimum moment that is 150 and 75 and you have to if you are filling the ultimate moment so here what you have to do you have to divide it by 1.5 so if you have got the service moment then you have to here again you have to multiply this value by 1.5 okay so you can do according to your value what you have in your hand okay now here eccentricity will be calculated for x and for y due to the moment that was given okay and it is 182 in x direction and 191 in y direction so your current value will be at l by 6 so it will come as 417 and for y direction it will come at 333 so here it will show you okay safe for for taking dimension of footing what dimension you have chosen here it is safe in current so these both values should be save in current only then you can uh, give the dimension so if value this value will less than our eccentricity what you have to do let's assume this value is less than eccentricity so it will show you not safe increase the size of the dimension okay so if you decrease the uh, 
your dimension of footing here okay let's assume we are decreasing the length of the footing okay here it is also safe but if you go with one meter so here you current for x direction is 167 and it will show you not safe increase the dimension of footing okay so here it is okay right now and your section modulus and all the value for uh, your uh, pressure upward pressure will be calculated that is p max and p minimum okay and here it will show you safe so your dimension that you have taken here will be safe for the design for the next procedure okay now you can go for the next procedure here it is also showing you safe okay so these red boxes you have to check either it was showing you okay or not okay now you can go for the bending moment here so bending moment will be calculated here your critical distance will be calculated your bending value will be calculated your net upper pressure for x and y at critical section will be calculated okay and you can do the interpolation if you want to do it manually by this table okay now your depth of footing will be calculated here it is also calculated by itself you don't have need to change any values here so here <coughs> your affected depth will be calculated and for the x direction it is coming as 187 and for the y direction it is coming as 152 now the here you have to provide the overall depth and your taken bar by it yourself only so by looking in this the effective depth values you have to give the almost a double of these values okay so that it can easily pass the one way and two way check if you don't want to give more than this you can go also with these values so according to your these effective depth you can provide the uh, your total depth okay and after that you can check whether it is passing or not okay but i am going with the double of these values so we are going to take the overall depth as 500 and cover we are taking as 50 mm bar diameter for first layer that is the bar in the x direction that is parallel to x direction we are taking as 12 and for y direction we are taking as 12 now the effective depth will be calculated here so for both the direction it is calculated that is for dx it is 444 and dy it is 432 and both are safe by the calculated values okay here it is showing safe so you can again further proceed for the design <coughs> now this uh, table is calculating the reinforcement so these percentage will be calculated here your affected depth is taken your width will be taken so here number of bar required is 11 so we are going with the higher values so our area of bar product is 1470 and it is showing you okay so for the you can proceed for the check of your spacing okay so your spacing is also okay so if you provide see 145 and it should be less than 150 here it is showing okay and if you are taking fe 415 so this value will be 180 as per is code 456 okay but I am taking FE 500 so it is 150 so that's why I am taking 30 number of bars so spacing will be less if you take 11 number of bars just take 11 numbers so it will show you not okay because your spacing is coming is more than the required so that's why it will show you not okay that's why I am taking 30 number of bars sorry 30 number of <coughs> bars okay so here it is also safe okay so then we go for the calculation of reinforcement for the y direction here it is calculated 13 but we have to provide 16 number because it's a spacing criteria and it is showing you okay go with the minimum why it is written because our EST calculated is less than our minimum EST minimum so you have to go with the minimum okay sorry you have to go with the maximum of both these values so that's according to that the number of bar is calculated here so here i am taking 16 because same problem is occurring here 
it is also showing you not okay because your required uh, reinforcement is less than you calculated so i'm going with 14 now so it will coming okay here but in spacing it will be showing you not okay because your spacing is coming 172 so if you increase the bar here 15 again increase the bar 16 okay now it will show you okay so further we can go for central reinforcement uh, bars so your spacing will be required is 141 i am providing 125 and for balance at the corner section your spacing is coming required is 125 but we can't provide spacing more than 150 because of the still that we have taken that is fe 500 so you have to go with fe 150 okay so it will show you okay so further we can go for one way check now in this table only what you need to do you have to find the value on table number 19 from is code this will be the table number 19 okay so on page number 70 uh, sorry on page number uh, 73 it is given so by this table you have to calculate the tau c value and you can use this interpolation table for the calculation of tau c according to based on your percentage of steel and your grade of concrete okay so this value will be 0 0.301 here and this value will be 0 0.302 so if you don't know how to calculate these values you can check my manual calculation uh, video i will provide the link uh, of that video at the end of this okay and here it will show you safe in both the tables for x and y so you can go for further design check for two way okay so here you don't have to change any value or you need to do you have to just check either it is safe or not so here it is also safe you can go for the transfer of load check so our, our here it is showing you no, not safe you have to so here what you have to do you have to provide the dowel bar okay here it is showing you provide the dowel bar so your dowel bar will be you have to provide the diameter of dowel bar you have to you have chosen so i am going with 25 mm so you got in 25 mm we have to provide 30 number of bar if you go with lower diameter uh, dia bar it will show you 31 but i am going with 25 mm of bar so it will show you 13 so 13 number of dia uh, double bar you have to provide in footing okay and final weight of the footing is coming at 62.5 and it is showing you safe that's why i am taking the percent of still as 12 percent not 10 percent because if you take 10 percent so it will show you according to my dimension and my design it will show me increase the self weight of the footing so again we have to do the procedure so you can also go with the 10 percent after that or following the all the procedure line by line you can check whether it was okay or not okay so last step to check the development line so here what dia bar is coming from the column you have to fill that okay now you have to also check the bond stress so it will depend on the grade of concrete okay and you have to also okay we have to go for check of the bond stress for footing okay it was okay now we have taking the here we, we have taken hyd bar so that's why we have increased it by 60 percent so if you are using mild steel you have to increase according to your bar okay so i'm going with 1.6 for hyd bar it is 1.6 so we have already done the video for development length okay and we have already provided the excel separately for for the compression and tension i will also provide the link of that video you can check now your available length 816 which is sufficient for the development length that is coming as 777 you can go for the design so all the value will be calculated here and all the value will be saved so you can check the bio uh, layer of bar and spacing of the 
spacing what we have to provide and check the footing design data that is overall depth is 500 cover will be 50 by dio bar of first layer is 12 and dio bar of second layer is 12 also okay and still provided for first layer is 12 <coughs> die at the rate of 157 center to center spacing all you need to or you can also go with if you want to go uh, change the spacing in equal dimension so you can also go with 150 but don't increase the spacing okay you can only decrease the spacing if you want or you can go with same dimension either you can use 12 dia at the rate of 155 mm or 150 mm directly so it will not create confusion on site okay similarly here you can do 150 and for if you are using central bandwidth method reinforcement for the longer direction so you can also use this 12 dia at the rate of 125 so this will only occur in on second layer okay so if you see this diagram so all how the reinforcement is laid it will shown here so this will be 2.5 that is the longer side so this the first bar will be provided in parallel to x direction okay that is the orange one and its tire will be sorry the its bar will be 12 mm of at the rate of 157 center to center and for y direction it is 12 mm at the rate of 159 center to center and if you are following the central bandwidth reinforcement method so in second layer that is in green bar what you have to do up to 2 meter that is up to the width of the footing that is coming as 2 meter so in 2.5 direction in this direction you have to provide up to 2 meter that is 12 at the rate of 150 center to center after that you can provide 12 at the rate of 150 center to center so our dimension is no, uh, there is not much difference in the dim dimension that is 2 and 2.5 so if you are going with a larger dimension that if this value is 2 and this value will be 4 ok so you, you can use central band reinforcement on that so your reinforcement will be more economical here the dimension difference is less so you can just follow the simple uh, reinforcement okay and if the dimension difference is more so you can go with central bandwidth for the second layer also okay. all the dia will be shown how it is provided what dia bar will be taken okay and what is the total depth and what is the effective depth okay so you can easily design step by step your eccentric by axial footing by using this excel sheet Okay. All you need to do is to change the value that is coming in green box only and according to that just follow the step and check all the red boxes is safe showing you safe or not and follow the procedure one by one according to that you can easily design your footing for by axial movement. Okay. So I will provide the link of this Excel sheet also you can download and design. So if you like this video, please subscribe to my channel, like this video also. Thank you.